I cannot wait to eat this with some gari. This is so delicious guys. Look at that. Very, very green and yummy. If you are not from Cameroon, this is Eru. The Nigerians call it um, Afang soup or Okaize. I'm sure it's Afang soup. I went to the African shop and I met fresh Eru guys. I could not resist. I just bought it and yes, I have a lot of obstacles in here. And if you visit Cameroon, make sure you eat Eru. Make sure you eat Ekwang. Make sure you eat Fufu and Kwang Kolang. Guys, Cameroon is just blessed. Like Africa is blessed. We have lots and lots of delicacies that you do not want to miss if it's just for you to travel to cameroon to go and eat food and come back yes kindly do that okay so this is a dish from the manu people the bayangis from the southwest region of cameroon and this particular dish if not everyone in cameroon majority of the people in cameroon do enjoy eating ero so if you are new here, thank you for coming. Please do not forget to subscribe. Click on that red button that says subscribe. And after that, you can turn on the bell so that whenever I upload a yummy, yummy recipe like this one or any other thing, you're going to get a notification. So do well to check my other videos. I'm sure you're going to like your stay here. Guys, I cannot wait to eat this. Look at fresh pepper. Okay, let me share the recipe. So for the ingredients, you need some towel. That's how we call it in Cameroon or shaki, as the Nigerians will call it. You also need crayfish. This is very, very, very important. You also need your pepper. And I'll be using something new today. This chili I bought from the Turkish uh, shop. This is something new, guys. I saw this from my life as favor, and that's why I'm sharing this new recipe with you guys. It is kind of an updated Aero recipe. You need some kanda or cow skin. This is extremely thick, guys. I could not get over this cow skin. You need your palm oil. You also need some smoked fish. And this I did by myself you guys must have watched the video if not do well to check that out and then you need maggi crevette and any other seasoning of your choice some salt I'm using Himalaya salt and then I'm using spinach guys I could not buy the normal water leaf it was really really expensive yeah but this is also very very good and then here is my fresh arrow very very fresh guys I was just like oh my god I need to buy this arrow and yeah I bought the arrow and yeah we are cooking fresh arrow today normally most of us in abroad we usually use the dry arrow because they have to dry it from home before it gets to wherever we are so that it doesn't get bad but this was really really well preserved and then you need your beef I am using this one and it was really really fatty guys I don't know like I was really mad when I got home and realized the meat was really really fatty but no choice we gotta use that so let's just start the cooking process So in this pot, I already have the towel or shaki cooking already. I'll cook this for about 8 to 10 minutes because it is actually harder than the cow skin and beef. And now let's just transfer my fufu in my pocket. I usually buy this in bulk, guys, so that I don't go to the supermarket always. It's just like gari, yellow and white gari. This is our own fufu here. Like this is the German brand. We call it grease. There are others, but I really prefer this one and uh, yeah i just buy this in bulk so that i don't go to the supermarket always and we can use this for at least six months yeah so i'm just mixing i like to mix it some people just prefer either the white one or the yellow one but i like to mix it because one is actually softer than the other So after 10 minutes, I'm just adding my cow skin. I'll boil this for another 10 minutes or 8 minutes and then I add in my beef and boil again for another 10 minutes.
so at this point i am adding salt and my seasoning i'm using this chicken stock i bought from the african shop so that all the assorted meat should have taste So at this point our beef is ready and I just transferred that in another pot. I'll now add in my spinach and use some of the stock to ease the boiling process for the spinach. And at this point you do not need to add too much because the spinach is actually watery, the same like water leaf. while that is cooking let's go ahead and wash our arrow so i like to just shake the arrow i do not like to really squeeze it like a uh, bitter leaf here yeah, because what you are taking out from the arrow is sand and any other thing like dust because this is actually harvested from the bush you know yeah so i just like to shake it shake it and use my sieve to drain the water from the water leaf and at the end of it guys you are going to see the sun from the arrow So after boiling my spinach and dry fish for about 10 minutes, I'm now adding in my peppers and I decided to go with one habanero pepper instead of two because the chili is really really hot. This one I bought from the Turkish shop. I did not expect that. If you want to get this guys, make sure you check if you have chili on it because there are actually two types. I had to chew one or half to make sure I know exactly what I'm adding in this pot of arrow. And guys, honestly, it is something else you need to try it i got this vibe from my life as favor after i watched her aero recipe i decided to give this a try and i know that we have something like this in Cameroon. we have this uh long green pepper but it's not like this one these ones are actually really big and i never thought i could use this to prepare aero but yeah guys this is a must ingredient in my arrow as of now i use it always whenever i'm preparing arrow. that's why i decided to share with you guys this recipe and yeah now you just have to add in your oil make sure to go with the quantity that you prefer this pot of arrow is really really big because i'm cooking this to keep some in my freezer so i'm using like a liter of palm oil i'm just adding in the other maggi crevette you can add any other maggi of your choice but i prefer maggi crevette because it's like um crayfish you know yeah i'm adding in some salt again because remember i did not use all of the beef stock so if you are using all of your beef stock be careful because the stock is already sweet and now i'm just mixing everything mix 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 and if i don't get what i want i'm just going to keep adding the ingredients So 
So after adding in my arrow into the pot, I do not cover the pot again so that the arrow and the spinach should be green at the end of the cooking process. So now I'm just adding in my obstacles. Guys, are you enjoying the sound from this pot? Oh my god, when I get this, I know my arrow is almost ready. And I hope you guys noticed I did not add water after adding my arrow in the pot. The water I used when I was boiling the water leaf or the spinach, that's just all we have in this pot. So at this point, my arrow is completely ready because you can see the oil floating on top and if you don't want this excess oil you can simply remove the oil okay use a spoon mm. and reduce mm. that so i was just tasting to make sure everything is yummy yummy and it was so so yummy and now i'm adding in my crayfish this is the last thing you should add when you're preparing arrow so that that aroma should be there and this also helps to enhance the taste guys at this point my whole kitchen was mm, mm, ready for us to consume